Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between read only variables and read write variables in script as? So open our bids or SSDT whatever you have according to the version of SSIS you are using. So in my case I have SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and I have created two variables. So first variable if you see that it is called var underscore read only and it is a type uh, string and uh, the value I, I have provided to this one is called read only first value okay and now I have another variable called var read write and uh, it is also string type and read uh, write first value that these are the values I have saved in these variables I bring the script task to the control flow uh, pan and let's open it now here we see that read only variables my understanding was if I will uh, put my variables in this category the script task will be only able to read the variable values and it will not be able to set the values back uh, but somehow that's not working I did some research and found out that's a bug and uh, the script task uh, if somebody is trying to set the value they will be able to set the value uh, the next one is a read write variable that means we can read the variable and we can also write back uh, or uh, set the values of the variables so in this case uh, click here on the read only variables and you will see you can read all different type of system variables and you will also see the user variables in my case I have selected var read only variable and the left the var read uh, write variable so click OK if I click here I can see only the user variables because you cannot set the va values for the system variable so that's why you do not see the system variables here so I have selected a var read write variable here inside the script task let me show you the script what I'm doing so what we have here I have written some code to display the values of the variable so the very first one is message box dot show and then that's the way to you you will write the variable dts dot variables and parentheses user uh, colon colon var uh, read only that's the variable name you are going to provide and then you have value and two string uh, and the next one is I'm displaying the value for the read write so I'm displaying the value of read only variable and I'm displaying the value of uh, read write uh, variable then uh, next what I'm doing I'm uh, setting the value for the both variables so first I'm uh, setting the values for read only variable and then I'm setting the values for read write variables and uh, then I'm also displaying again here to make sure the values has uh, changed what should happen this variable as it is read only variables it should not change it but as I told you it is a bug and uh, that's why the value will be changed so if my first assumption was maybe it is only changing the values in this uh, script task in the next task maybe it will not so I have done one further testing I will show you so I'm setting the values displaying it here let's close this one and then I went to the second task and I'm reading uh, the values for the both of the variables so I have set the values in the first one I, dis I will display them and then I'm also trying to display here and uh, I was assuming uh, that that value for the read only variable might be only true for the script uh, where I'm using it but that's not true even if this is a second script uh, task uh, I'm using it and uh, the value will be changed you know from the first so uh, here I'm displaying the values for those variable let's run our SSIS package and see what is happening so in the variables if you guys see that the values were read only first value that's the value we have set uh, the first time now and this is the value for the read only variable now we can see the read write first value so that's the value we have set up in the package now it is going to set the values and display after that now the values are set and a new value that is saved in the uh, read only variable is the read only new value if I hit OK now the it is showing me the value for the write 
uh, and the, the value will be read write new value okay now we are here in the second uh, script task and uh, remember I was telling you maybe it's my assumption it should not change the value for the read only variable but actually even the in the second uh, uh, script task I'm able to see the value was updated in the first one so I'm seeing read only new value and uh, actually it should be only read only first value hit okay and now we see that there's a read write new value is fine so that's that's pretty much it for this video but just to remember that um, in the script task we have two types of uh, uh, way to categorize our variable one is read only variables and the read write variables I, I, I will still go with this one I will um, all the variables that I only need to read I will put it here and all the variables where I need to write them uh, the, or set the values I will categorize them in the read write write variables instead of uh, just assuming that uh, you know uh, put it here as I can set the values why not to you know uh, put it here so may may maybe later Microsoft will uh, uh, send a patch uh, and uh, th that you install or uh, any upgrade in the software and uh, if you have done this one in SSIS package what you have to do you have to go back and uh, probably make the changes uh, to accommodate that one so I, I will go with the with the best practices so whatever it is supposed to be I should mention that the bug can be fixed anytime from the Microsoft in the next update versions uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video